Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about the bend modifier in 3D Studio Max. I created an object which is a box, and now I'm going to modify, modify list, and put bend. If I increase the angle value, we can see nothing is happening. Actually, the object is not bending, but I can see this is an orange gizmo which is actually bended this is the bend gizmo but the actual object is not bending what is the reason behind it the reason is the object don't have any kind of segments so I delete the bend modifier and now we can increase the segments after increasing the segments I again put the bend modifier and now if I increase the angle you can see the objects has been bent now under the angle angle is actually controlled for angle is actually uh, controlled for the uh, amount of the bend bend value and under that you can find the direction now direction is actually which direction you uh, bend it it's a complete uh, 360 you can rotate under that you can find bend axis now this is a very important one because in which direction in which way you want to bend your object it's absolutely depend on these three axes if I use X it's actually been bend according to the X axis see and if I use Y it's bent to the Y axis see this is the y axis and this way it's actually with bending this is the y axis and this way it's bending if I go to the x axis this is the x axis and this way it's actually bending now if it's z axis this is the z axis and this is the way it's actually bending so it absolutely depend on the axis after that we'll found the limits now limits are a very interesting and important also because uh, uh, limits uh, through limits you can actually uh, modify your bend amount and values now before that we need to understand what is the how the limits uh, actually works uh, limits depend on the center of the object if I minus this bend option you can find one gizmo and another one is center now what is the center if you press F3 you will see one small yellow plus point is there and that is the center of the object you can pull it upside to make this bend from uniformly like this will be the this will be my upper side and this will be my lower side so now we can use the limit value so first switch on the limit effect and increase your upper limit now you can see your lower portion from the center lower portion from the center is zero valued that's why there is no bending happening but as we have my I have my upper limit there that's why the upper portion has been bending I can decrease the lower portion a uh, lower limit and I can uh, bend them bend my object or even or even I can more increase or decrease the uh, upper limit and also control the the upper portion uh, the bend of the upper portion so this is how we can uh, create few really cool objects like I can uh, use this uh, sorry I can use this uh, as a uh, model this is a generic very cool one if we can uh, create this kind of uh, architecture or structure uh, just uh, delete this I'm just making few small changes now and I can increase this fine now select this this can be uh, what is a pipe or something it's a bending value so I just duplicate this okay mirror it I mean uh, we can have a very very different look I mean I can rotate this a bit yes 
find now like this and then I can copy this then I can mirror this okay fine you can hold control and duplicate the entire stuff and that's it so you can place uh, the sphere over it you can set a box so that's a cool you know just uh like this you can actually create uh some uh, unique uh architecture uh, structures or or any kind of any kind of designs you want to create so bend is very very useful for this this kind of stuff and you can create this easily you cannot you don't have to model it entirely from the scratch so hope you enjoyed it thank you very much